Good evening. I'm Keith Cates. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. Northbound Bayshore Boulevard in Tampa is still closed, nearly seven hours after a jogger was struck and killed by a truck. And Tampa police believe the driver of that truck may have been drunk. This jogger was hit just after 11 o'clock this morning near Julia Street. This is about a half mile north of where a mother and toddler were killed back in May of 2018. News Channel East Justin Shecker is joining us live from the scene of today's crash. And Justin, like so many people, I walk along Bayshore Boulevard. I was there soon after this incident today. I mean, it's obvious to me this was a violent crash, lots of damage, and of course, with deadly consequences, we now know. Uh, Keith, good evening. You saw that damage up close and spoke with a college student who witnessed this crash and says the truck was going too fast on Bayshore Boulevard. The impact so strong from the crash that it shattered a part of the balustrade and sent the jogger who was killed into the water. Tonight, police say the driver of this truck will survive and soon face criminal charges. A tragic morning on Bayshore Boulevard. Literally, I was just out here an hour ago walking and it, you know, could have been all of us. Traffic blocked off for hours on the northbound side as Tampa police try to figure out why this pinch a penny truck left the roadway. We believe right now that alcohol may be a factor. Police are also trying to figure out if the driver who struck and killed a man on the sidewalk was speeding. This eyewitness spoke with our Keith Kate minutes after the crash that knocked the jogger into the bay. White truck going about 60, 70 miles an hour hit the wall. Um, the body was ejected from the vehicle. Before first responders arrived, Chris Martinez says he and other good Samaritans rushed to help the jogger. So when something like this happens, you know, the fortunate thing is you have people that are willing to spring into action. That was the case here. Tonight, a stretch of the normally busy and beautiful boulevard remains a crime scene. And I just feel awful for whoever's involved. And police say they have notified the jogger's family about his death, but they're not releasing his name because of Marcy's law. We're live tonight in Tampa. I'm Justin Shecker, eight on your side. All right, thank you, Justin. And just